All right, guys, welcome to the new Regal Gentleman Studios. Today, we've got Samir in the chair. How are hey you, mate? Guys, I'm good, thank you. You good? Great, yeah. yeah, good, man. Good, nice to meet you. Um, what are we doing today? What's the plan? So, with my hair, I've got two kind of styles that I'm thinking of, but okay. I want you to kind of give me some suggestions of what you think. So, this is literally just washed natural, like, I didn't touch it. So, this is how the style I was looking to go for, like this one, without the line. Oh, okay, yeah. On there. But yeah, so, yeah. so, I had it done at a barber's like a few months ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looked pretty good, but I don't really blow, blow dry my hair. The oh, okay. The guy obviously done it. This yeah, was, yeah, This was without course. the blow dry. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was this kind of style that I was doing. Came out of the shower one day. I was just limping my hair for a bit and then I found out this kind of style. Okay. And I was like, I kind of like that style as well, but it, was not, it wasn't really cut, you know, to that shape. Yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. It was cut to the other style. The other style, yeah. I just, okay. just used water. And this sport. Let me see how okay. it looks. Okay. So I was just kind of stuck between that one and that one. Um, I, I, I think honestly that one looks better. Yeah. I think the other one is too. I mean, for for example, like if you're not going to blow dry it, it's going to be absolutely impossible to get recreate that style again yeah. at home because it's such a disconnection. It's like basically the side. It's like it's two different haircuts. It's a fade on the sides, and then it's kind of almost like a, a, it's like cut from like sort of the round of the head here. Yeah. Which yeah. it's kind of it's not really the way I work. Mm. This, the, that type of style. That's 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 it. that for me is a style when there's no connection in, into it. So it's not like an achievable style every day for somebody. Yeah, that's kind of our. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. Obviously, I'll do it for you. But the way I kind of work is I I could do that style for you that yeah. you could recreate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So whichever one you prefer as them, I could do them to a, a standard which you could then do yourself. Because at the moment you've basically got two partons either side here, yeah, either side. and it's rolled over into one. Yeah, right? yeah. Which instantly isn't easy easy for you to do, but also it's it's very hard to maintain. As well. Yeah. So why not go for something similar just with a connection? Whereas if you connected it in from the round of the head mm -hmm. and then cut the shaping that you want on top, whether you want it to come up or back, mm. it's up to you. Just by having a connection, the haircut's cut into that style. Yeah, yeah. But you can achieve it at home. So okay. it would still look the same. Yeah. It would probably look better if I'm yeah, honest, yeah, because yeah. you'd be able to recreate it yourself. I think in terms of the the manageability and the, and the sort of low maintenance element of what you need or what you want, mm. the one you styled out the shower looked great. Yeah. You've done it with water it and it looked nice. <laughs> yeah. The other one, you, you know, your barber blow dried it for you. You know, it's it's not something that is going to be. And if it's not style like that, it does it's this. A bit messy, yeah, exactly. Very messy. Yeah. So why don't we do something similar to the fit, to the second look that you had? Yeah. But connect it in so you haven't got that that big like like lot of weight on top mm. and then you've got like you can still have the fade on there and stuff like that fade, yeah, but yeah. we just blend it into the top and create that that look so we can still keep it nice and square mm -hmm. we can still have that length on the top but you'll be able to do that every single day without having to worry where these bits go again again low maintenance but with that look i think you'll suit it a lot i thought you suited it on that picture yeah. but the only thing that that didn't look right was just that it was just kind of hanging horns yeah. hanging over yeah. but if we do the same kind of thing without that it's gonna be ideal Great. That's yeah, great. should we do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah all right, fine. man. Sounds good. Nice. Perfect. I would uh, add in like a skin fade as well, isn't it? That's fine by yeah, me, mate. Cool. Yeah. Same same fade as that on the on the video. Yeah, yeah like a low mid medium medium. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fade, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, not a problem at all. Right, well, I'll get you gowned up, mate, and then um, we'll get started. Right, guys. So the first thing we need to do is I want to connect in from the round of the head to the length we've got now. That's the first thing. I want to get the, the horseshoe section in. I want to connect in the sides that we've got, get rid of any of the unnecessary kind of overhang that we don't need for this look now. And then we'll start on our fade. And then that way we'll connect in the top. I was just saying then as well to Samir, this is our first fade in our studio. So it's, it's, quite, oh, it's quite a privilege, mate. I'll tell you, yeah, it is. It is. It's an honor for me to have you into this lovely stand. And, and I hope it's a privilege for you to, uh, to be the first ever faded person in the studio. <laughs> I remember it. You've got the YouTube to remind me as well. <laughs> you have indeed, mate. You have indeed. There's the hairline. We bring that around it down like that. Happy with that. So, I'm going to start off by connecting in this bit to the hair underneath. Okay, so we want to really work on, see exactly how much length we've got to play with, and we'll work on the fade. So I'm going to pull that down and just connect the overhang. This is also creating a nice sort of guideline for my clipper work too. I still want to keep, like, we want to take some length off the top, but we also have got to remember we're pushing it back or over to the side. So giving Samir some options where if he wants to work with to one side, he can. Like he said, he was a bit confused which side it went to. It looked, it's hard to say off the camera. I don't know if it went to the right, I think it went to his right hand side, but I'm not sure that that was filmed on the front facing camera or the back facing camera because it spins it round, doesn't it? So yeah. I'm not too sure, but we'll have a little look. When it comes to actual style, and we'll see which way the hair grows, see which way it falls better, but I'm going to cut it so it falls either way. And I think that way it becomes so easy. You know, I'd like, love it. Like, if that was the way you could do your hair, mate, just a bit of water every morning, that'd be <laughs> ideal. I mean, I think I'd made it then, mate, you know? Yeah. A little bit of water, done. 
Right, so there you go. So that is connected in. As you can see, that's the level all the way around. It's also going to allow me to connect in the top to there as well. Let's start with our feed. Right, guys, so I'm going to start with my number two. I'm going to work up to the line we just cut in, okay? Like so. I'm going to drop it down at the back as well, just to give me a little bit of wiggle room at the back because you want this hair to come over the crown. Now we're going to move on to my one guard. The lever pulled down so it becomes a one and a half. I'm working just up and off before we get to that number two line, okay? So how did you come across our videos, sir? Um, I've been trying to look for a barber for years. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah, and I didn't know you, where you guys were based initially. Oh, right. Uh, and then... Were you thrown off by the accent? <laughs> Do you think it was up north somewhere or? <laughs> no, I just didn't know where you guys were based. And um, I kind of used to, my friend used to cut my hair for like the last five years. Oh yeah. And then recently when he got married and had a baby, we became more busy. Right. So I, was, um, so I was trying to find a barber shop, and of course while I was finding it, I was watching your videos. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so when I started watching your videos, I was like, wow, I really need to get my hair cut by you. You know exactly what you're doing, I know, and you know, I've seen the before and afters. Oh, thanks very much, man. And then for, I thought, let me apply for the video. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, definitely. No, it's a pleasure to have you in, mate. It's, 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 it's going to be a really cool haircut, man. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. And you've done, you've done all sorts. I've seen the like the long hair, the yep. short textured hair. You've done like partings. Yeah. So, Jack of all trade, master yeah. enough, mate. You know, that's what they say, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, I think it's just years of experience and also uh, being, you know, I, this job is a hobby, you know what I mean? It's mm. like, it's not just a job to me, you know, it is, you know, it's a hobby that makes me money. That's the way I look at it, you know mm. what I mean? It's, it's, it's good fun. Um, and, and I think that's why, that's why I care so much, you know what I mean? Because I do, I do really give, I do really care about, about what I do. I, I care about my work and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, very hard to, to not. I don't know why. I think everyone everyone just gets passionate about something in their life, right? And yeah, it's just seems to be mine. So it's just like, you know, anyone who's got like a career, whether it's like hands on to the public or whatever, I think they just feel they're meant to do it, you know? Yeah, definitely. I always thought that. And this is just my one, you know? <laughs> right, so I'm just blending this one and a half and the two into the length, just a little bit above. Before I start with the fade, I just want to kind of figure out where I'm going to go up to in terms of the connection or the transition as I call it into the top. I'm using this clipper comb because it goes to a one and a half. So I just thought it'd be one of them where you, you can go right down, press the comb right against the scalp and so I'm going to go any shorter than the one and a half. So it allows me to blend that one and a half perfectly into the number two. So uh, over the years then, Samir, what looks have you, uh, have you gone for then, or what looks have you been given? Yeah, so I mean, mostly the side parting. Yeah. Kind of has side parting. I did try to do like a slick back. Okay. From both sides at one point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it wasn't a big fan. So um, I think the side parting looked pretty good. Nice. It just, it just wasn't like, you know, you said it wasn't cut properly into shape. Um, but then that was, again, quite hard to maintain. Yeah. Um, but it, it did suit me, it did look pretty good, but I just thought, I want something that's going to look good, but also that's not too much effort. To yeah, totally, mate. As well. Totally. Because I think the thing is, and I know, only talking from my own experience, like I'm, I'm quite lazy when it comes to styling my hair. Mm. I just like a haircut that works, it looks nice, mm. and it's, it's, it's achievable. You know, I, I, my mornings are quite busy, so you know, I don't really have time to stand there blow drying it, like, or especially putting any effort into blow drying it anyway. I can blow dry it. Just blast it through, finger dry it, for example. But, yeah. uh, you know, if I, if I was going out, I could spend a bit more time on it. But most of my days are spent, you know, kind of running about, basically, you know? Yeah. So I don't really don't really need to get sort of too dressed up in the daytime. Yeah. Um, but I still want my hair to look nice. But I don't <laughs> want to spend a lot of time on it. So it's a bit of a kind of, you know, 
you're asking a lot, but it is doable. It yeah, is definitely it's, doable, it's you know? Doable, yeah. Get a haircut that looks right, it's balanced, it's cut in correctly, it works for your face shape. These are all things you have to take into account, right? Yeah, definitely. So that, where we've blended that to is exactly where we need to. You've got a very diamond, um, slightly oval, slightly diamond face shape. I'd probably say more oval, actually. So you need to keep that weight through here. Mm -hmm. And that's what will keep the squareness in the top. All right, so good height on the fade as well. I think I think medium, medium to low is good. Mm -hmm. I won't go too high just because of how wide your, uh, your cheeks come off. It'll just go out and then in again up here. So yeah. we want to try and maintain that length at the top as well. I'm putting my zero line in. So I always go past back. So again, when you do anything like this sort of, um, this kind of haircut, you've got to kind of step away from your work to just check how it looks. Because when you're so close, you can't see it for what it is. And I need to step away a little bit and just check that the line's looking right. It's looking the right height. Just double check, because again, we need symmetry for a fade. If you go too high or too low, you can really tell. Especially like when what I've just done then on the sides, I just checked then on the sides there to make sure it was at the same height. Because if it isn't, it really looks, you can really, really tell. But it doesn't mean that the temple's gonna shape the same. You have to then shape it yourself. Maybe take it a bit higher up on one side or take the angle in a bit tighter to make sure it works. But you've got to get the symmetry, otherwise it really doesn't look right. Start just to edge out the temples here. And as you can see, Samir's beard is very shaped, so I want to kind of arch this into the beard as well. And cut in the shape that it's going to fall into. It's going to look the best as we hook it round. Slide across, we're going to go just to the top of the beard. And what I'll do is I'll just shape the back. You want me to shape this a little bit down here for you? Sure. You can't have your cheeks like that perfect shape and then have the back <laughs> done. It would be a, be a bad thing not to do. So is a skin fade been something that you've been getting for a long time now then, mate? Yeah, I've seen it all my life. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, wow, I've, nice. I've never grown out the sides too much. Haven't you? No. It looks a bit funny. I, I tried it once. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I look like a forest. <laughs> <laughs> my hair goes pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, I do, well, do you know what? That's the thing about a fade though, is that you notice how fast it grows out, don't you? You know? Yeah. You notice that, you know, within like a week, you have to go and get it done again. Yeah, I normally get my hair cuts like every three weeks. Every three weeks, like, yeah. Usually, yeah. Nice. Glad you left it for me though, so it's good, we've got a good, good bit of length in there mate. Yeah, it was a bit hard. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine mate. It'll be worth it, definitely be worth it. I hope so mate, I hope you think so. I think it is, I think it looks, it's going to look so nice. Because it's going to look like the, like what you want, but just a really easy version for you to do, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I'm hoping that it is what you want. So guys, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stretch this blend out show off the height and skin fade and also work up into that length as well so head over for me just work through the lever 
Saya datang ke sini. Now back in with my number one guard. We use this just to work up into the one and a half. I can add this into the side now. So I can put the around the head, just. There's the connection point underneath there. Got that in. So we're still working with the square shape. We're still using that horizontal section that we cut before the very start of the haircut to kind of estimate our guide and also to, to work down into a, from the top into the transition. So again, that was the, one of the most important um, parts of the, the haircut was the start of it. So when we cut it into the, the blend, the transition. And what sort of look do you like? Do you like the wet look then? Do you like the pomade look or whatever um, the, the, the lovely water does? Yeah, I like the kind of the, the natural look more. Okay. Um, not too, too um, wet. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, but then not too dry either. Not too dry either. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah. Kind of That's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get that. A kind of in between natural shine kind of thing, yeah, where everything looks a bit more natural. Yeah. Looks like you've made an effort, basically. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Products are quite key, you know, a key to sort of um, whether you're going to enjoy your haircut or not. You know, whether you're going to use them or not. Mm. So you need a product that is easy washed out. Yeah. That that still gives you the same effect that you're looking for. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. There's 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 a lot of products on the market now that are water soluble. You know, that can still give this exact look that you you're trying to achieve. So. Well, I'm definitely open to it. I just have, I don't think I've found the right product. That's probably why I've been a bit hesitant. Yeah, probably is. Yeah, probably is. But hopefully you will find one. Again, it just takes a little bit of a experiment, really, you know. There we go. Now, that's the other side now. But you're going to see a bit more hair coming off now because this is where the left hand side was a little bit longer, where the part one was cut in. So again, if you've got a haircut like you're, you're working on, like what Samir had when he came in. Don't forget, it's if the left hand side or the right hand side is a bit longer, it probably you know you, you've you've still got your guide. Follow your guide. And we're just working up into the centre. We'll be soon just working up past the centre as well, because we don't want to create a centre part. We want it to be part of either side, so allow them to. Um, to do a few you know, different looks. If he fancies wearing it over to one side, he can. If he's having a bad day and, or a bad hair day, you should have saying it won't go the way he wants it to, it'll fall in another way. You know, that's what I want to try and create for, for Samir today. So hopefully this is, a, this is going to be a good one for him. Last section now, past the center. Just working at the back. We're using again the horizontal section we cut in before to 
So start that blend on the sides. We're using that as our guide. So it's sitting just right on the occipital bone. And what you'll find now is that we've got a nice sort of ridge for it to sit really nicely for the silhouette of the side of Samir's head as well. So again, it's not about what looks good straight on. It's what looks good for everyone else from different angles. So this is the final piece now. Just need to match it up to the side. There we go, that much. I'll just put a cut into that as well. Just add a little bit of choppiness to the end. And just connecting to the out of the front. Now, last but not least, just gonna work through the back now. Vertical sections just to make sure we've connected in. We'll just finish off with a little bit of scissor over comb across the blend. in the blend at the back where it's nice and thick. Right, so let me start this off for you now, mate. Okay, I'll show you what to do. So what I need you to do is put your glasses on for me, if you don't mind. Yep. So that's like what you showed me on the video, except you've got a connection now. Yeah. All right. So Balmain salt spray. Maybe eight or nine pumps of that. And then what I'll do is I'll finger right for you. All right. And I want to show you what it looks like with that product that I was telling you about. So dry the pet, put, dry the actual um, salt spray in, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, use your fingers. Yeah. The hair dryer. Put your fingers in and just use the nozzle. Yeah. If you're doing it on yourself, turn, if you watch me, hold the hair dryer like that. So you're holding it almost at the bottom there, and then you use that to style your hair. All right? And your hair will go either way, whichever way you want it to. Okay, so which way would you prefer it to be? I don't mind. Whatever way? Yeah. You can go back as well if you wanted to. We'll do one, one, one side. One yeah? side, yeah. All right. I'll do it that way. Yeah, that way. Yeah. And now let me talk to you about the product as well. Okay, so I'm going to use the um, label, uh, label M matte paste. Okay. It's a really nice product. Again, it is, it is a matte paste, but there's, there's an element of like a natural finish to it, okay? So what you do, I always layer this in because it's quite strong, okay? So rub it into your hand, like so, warm it up a little bit first, okay? So I've used about maybe a pea size amount. It's all you're gonna need, okay? Yeah. So work it into the palm of your hand first, and then make sure it gets all rubbed in. And that's the finished look you're gonna see. See that little slight gloss? Yeah. So whatever you see, the, the look in the hand is what it's gonna look like in your hair, okay? Now, just rub it in like a shampoo. So this is the application, this is not the style, okay? Yeah. Application first. And then style. So I'm going with where your part wants to fall as well, which is just there. I'm just using that as a kind of, like, make it a bit more sharper for you actually, I think it'll look quite nice. This is where your part wants to sit. And that is your, basically what you showed me on the video, but just with a connection and a fade down the sides. All right? Yeah, yeah. There is your fade. Cut in for you. Really nice, yeah, I like it. Nice, isn't it, man? See the shape and everything else, so it's all got that blending. It's clean. Yeah, it is. It is, man, looks good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Happy, yeah? Yeah, very happy, yeah. Cool, thanks a lot, mate.